Hello everyone, uh, as my name is Dr. Mohammed Abdul Bari, I am a faculty member of IESL. I am also heading the department of CSC. Uh, I am going to handle programming language, which is a part of a second, uh, third semester core subject. And we will be having weekly three to four classes. And it is of 70 marks external and 30 marks internal. 30 marks are divided into two, what you call uh, uh, test, unit test. Uh, every two unit or 2.5 unit, the test will be conducted. Best of two will be taken, then assignment also be given for that. 10 marks is for assignment. So 30 marks is for CIE and 70 marks is SEE. Okay. The next one is that before we move on, we need to learn uh, whatever what we are going to learn any subject, we need to see what we are going to learn. That is what we are going to see in course outcome. The meaning of course outcome is that if you learn any language, what you are going to do it. What you have learned, they will specify clearly. Here we are going to see, if you learn this language, we are going to see ability to express syntax as well as semantic informal notation syntax and semantic what do you mean by syntax and semantic the way you define any character or any integers in your programming languages if you define any characters the syntax of character is something like that you define c h a r a this is a character this is a syntax what we are going to define what is the semantic the meaning of a is assigned with the value of character that is the meaning semantic and syntax syntax is something that when you define anything and semantic is what is the meaning it's going to give you up so the next part is ability to apply suitable programming paradigm for the application that is means any application you take what are the so we have to go through the different programming language example and which is the best we have to apply that one gain knowledge comparison of future programming languages we have to know the programming different programming language which are there before and which are going to come after and we have to compare which is good and which is not so good programming of different par paradigm and evaluate their benefits now if you compare c and c plus plus like this we have to compare both which is good what which is good in c which is bad uh, which is good in c plus plus now if i take anything about c plus plus and java c c plus plus and java we have to compare all them and we have to see which is good for which programming which application we have to see that one identify and describe semantic issues associated with variable binding means what are the rules we have to see in different language if you define any character or rules or semantic rules what uh, if you define any what you call syntax errors or something like that how we are going to define it how you are going to rectify it and then last part is understanding the design issue of object oriented and functional programming which is nothing but we are going to see how the functional programming object oriented programming are going to work work on this basis these are the six point which we are going to see on this one the next we are going to see the syllabus the unit one which is the starting point where we are going to see the preliminary concept the what do you mean a preliminary concept the concept is what what we understand if you learn any language what we learn understand the reason for studying the concept the first point if you see it it's giving you the reason for studying means why you are studying it concept what what are the concept we are going to see what are the programming domain we are going to see language evaluation how you evaluate the language why you should evaluate the language these are the things programming language implementation why you are, what is the complexity of any language what are the things we have to see in the implementation of any languages what are the virtual machine we are going to see that part also programming environment what are the environment we are going to see syntax and semantic as i told you before then parsing tree then we are going to see sorry before that we are going to see some rules also bnf and ebnf these are the some rules benchmark normal form which is also a rule then extended extendable rule for that one we are going to see this part of the rule also then we are going to see parsing tree which is totally different from your data structures and ambiguous grammar which is also totally different from that one we are going to see this part the next unit what we are going to see is that data types what are the data types we are going to use and how they are going to affect 
in your programming languages in different programming language you know what you mean by data type you have already seen the data types they are already given the data types if you see this one data type introduction primitive character user defined array associate record we have already gone through all those things but exception we just need to know the concept which are used in different languages then we have got control statement statements which are going to define other the part then third third part is nothing but which is uh, which you give you the concept of sub program sub programs block or fundamental of sub program what do you mean by sub program a part of a program which you define part of a program we, this whole unit if you see through together it's all decided for sub program scope and lifetime of variable static and dynamic scope what do you mean by static you already know but we are going to see in that one dynamic what we are going to see design issue of sub program what are the issues we are going to see operation of local variable and then parameter passing how you are going to pass local variable or parameter passing overloading sub programming and generic programming parameter that are sub program names how the names are given to that parameters and everything all this we are going to see in unit 3rd unit 4 we are going to see abstract data type or abstract type data abstraction and encapsulation which you are going to learn in what you call data c++ and then introduction to data abstraction data in issue language other things c++ parameters which already then edit these are all part of data structures which you are going to see here we are going to take that part into consideration and we are going to go through this one sub programming level concurrency semaphores monitors message passing java thread we are going to see this one c thread c sharp we are going to see what are the threads of c sharp we are going to see exception handling exception 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 propagation exception handling in c++ java and ada logical programming which is also introduction to that is fall of basic element of prolog we are going to see the prolog uh, application of logical programming we are going to see the here then if you see the log unit 4 uh, unit 5 functional programming language introduction to functional programming fundamental of l f fpl lips haskell applications and other things scripting language these are the parts which we have seen in course outcome 5th and 6th are discussed here in this one these are the introduction part or i can tell you of these are the syllabus which you have gone through we'll be covering all this part and everything the next part we are going to see is reference reading the books concept of programming language by robert um education to the programming language design and concept da what wesley uh, programming language second edition b these are the uh, what do you call books which are we are they have not specified any core book they have just specified different books so we have to go through all these books that's we'll see how things are but i'll be providing you with the notes which is there and the videos which also be available on my website uh, www.drmohammadabdulbari.com and please subscribe the youtube channel first thing and the second last most important thing is that uh, the notes and everything all the videos will also be available on my website and handout will also be given to the student when they come down to the college okay this is the part what we are going to see the syllabus and everything this is part the next video will start with introduction and other part